Hi Bobcats, I'm Texas State President Kelly Dampus and today I'm in a very special place on the San Marcos campus, the Whitliff Collections. It's a striking combination of galleries and exhibitions and research material on the very top of the El Keck Library. We have more than 500 unique collections of literature, music, photography and film and it's such a privilege for our university to be the home to the Whitliff. And here we capture the beauty and heritage of Texas, the Southwest, and Mexico through the works of renowned storytellers. I'm joined today by Dr. David Coleman, who's the director of the Whitlift, to explore some of its treasured artifacts. And so welcome to the current video. Oh, welcome back. Well, tell us more about the collections you have here, because we always talk about Lonesome Dove, but you have sure. a lot more here than just that. Well, we sure do. So for the past 35 years, we've been collecting the best of writing, photography, film, TV, and music, all representing kind of the cultural creativity of the Southwest. And all told, we have nearly two miles of archive boxes if you stacked them up edge wow. to edge to each other, uh, over 35,000 photographs in this collection. And we're still collecting to this day, always trying to represent uh, what's happening and what really uh, is important and significant in the culture. Unbelievable, and so how did we end up being the repository of the collections? Well, I mean, th that goes to that hell of a vision line yeah. from, from Lonesome Dove. It really all started with Bill Whitliff yeah. uh, and his wife, Sally. And Bill, I think he was born a storyteller and he loved hearing stories when he was very young. It was very inspirational for him to hear these stories and then see them written in a book. That was like a, a revelation to him. And so in his career, he became fascinated with telling stories, but then also helping others tell their stories. And ultimately, he decided, and his wife Sally chose Texas State University to be a place of inspiration for young people who wanted to be creatives, but also just young people in general, to help them kind of tell their stories. Well, it's fascinating. I never miss the opportunity when I have a guest come to campus, we come up here and just wander around. There's always different exhibits going on. So you have the right. permanent collection, then you have kind of a rotation of collections. Of yes. But how many people come to visit the Whitliff uh, over the year? We get about 20,000 visitors in a given year, and that ranges from, of course, most of those are students, which we're sure. always happy to see here uh, at the Whitliff. But then we have special events that draw really from all over Central Texas. Ultimately, we also have researchers literally from all over the world coming to do research here in our reading room. So we have a lot of things going on here, and people know about the Whitliff, but what would you say is like the most popular thing to see here? Maybe, maybe our biggest treasure. Well, we have lots of treasures, and I think we should probably just get up and go look at some. That's a great idea. Let's go look at them. Okay. Yeah, great. One of the things I love about the Whitliff collection is the Lonesome Dove area because, you know, I mentioned earlier about how important the miniseries was to my life and my wife. When we first got married, the mm -hmm. series came out and it mm -hmm. became something we watch almost annually before I got here. Now we watch it once a month, but <laughs> it's so neat to come here and see the costumes and the artifacts that are part of the a part of the movie. Right. And what we love about the movie is it really tells a history of Texas that's really interesting from a very authentic perspective. It's the first time I've ever seen cowboys that weren't wearing cowboy costumes. I mean, they were wearing what people wore back then. Right. And that's what I think is the realism of yeah. the movie, which is based on the realism of the book, absolutely. really kind of tells the story of Texas, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And Bill, you know, Bill got involved with this project. He and Larry McMurtry knew each other before Bill got involved with the movie. Um, Bill had published actually a collection of sto short stories uh, from McMurtry when Bill was running a press out of Austin. And so when this book became available, uh, Bill got involved and really became kind of the godfather of this story. And he wanted the story to be as accurate as possible. He wanted the film to be as true to the time as possible. No detail was too small in terms of the costume design and the set design. It all really mattered a huge amount for Bill and for everyone really involved with the set. Um, and I should say, it, it's nothing short of a miracle that we have, you know, for a TV show that was made in 1988 and shown in 1989, that we actually have a production archive in the first place. 
TV shows don't save their back archive. then they just like move it on or throw it away exactly yeah. props go back to the prop department costumes sometimes go to the actors or what have you but Bill and Sally had just established the Southwestern Writers Collection which became the Whitliff Collection here so Bill and Sally were collectors at that point and Bill well, he borrowed, he bought, and he stole as much <laughs> as he could from the sets when they got done yeah. shooting in a particular location and were the grand beneficiaries yeah. of that. And the beauty of that is that, you know, otherwise that would be lost and then we might lose the history, the really rich history of being able to walk through. It's almost like you're walking through a set. Right. And I know around the corner you actually have uh, the videos playing on loop so you yeah, can actually sit do. down the students can actually walk, oh, that's the show. And so, yeah, yeah and to actually see the physical artifacts that really is like a history of Texas. What do you have over here? So here is really one of the foundation stones for the whole Whitliff collections. This is the 1555 edition of Cabeza de Vaca, Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca, his report to the King of Spain. He was a Spanish conquistador. He was the treasurer for an expedition that was really to chart out the land between the Florida Panhandle and Northern Mexico. This was all considered basically Florida at the time. Mm -hmm. After a couple hurricanes and many shipwrecks and rafts that go aground and actually being captured by the native people, there are four survivors of this expedition and Cabeza de Vaca is one of them. What this book is, is his report to the King of Spain Oh, it's Look actually typeset. Isn't that amazing? It's unbelievable. This is an example of one of your, this is, is this a temporary exhibit or a permit? That's right. Yeah. This is a temporary exhibit. We'll change it out late summer uh, and a new one will come in the fall. The other day I was here for an event and it was kind of noisy in there and I wanted to come and kind of relax a little bit. And I found a chair over there. There's a video that was playing there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I discovered this right here. So tell us about this feature. So. Some of our great claim to fame is having some original Willie Nelson uh, lyrics. And Bill made three movies with Willie Nelson, Redheaded Red Stranger, Stranger yeah. Barbarossa. And, and so they had a very strong relationship. And I have two examples here that really, again, speaking of foundation stones, are just amazing for us. One is a, a songbook that Willie wrote when he was like 10 or 11 years old including the first song that he ever wrote uh, called Gold Star, and we have the lyrics here. Wow. So he knew as a very young person who he was going to be. He just knew. Unbelievable. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And some people are like that, and we want to help inspire people who may not yet know their stories, but we want to inspire them to find their way. So, and then over here we have, uh, and I'll get the shivers just even telling you about it, these are the lyrics to On the Road Again. And of course, there is a Bill Whitliff connection. <laughs> they were making Honeysuckle Rose, the movie, together. And they were working on the film, and Bill called Willie and said, you know, Willie, I'm gonna need a song out of you. And he said, okay, so what, what do you need? And Bill said, well, I need a song that's gonna take you from one venue to the other. And Willie said, well, you need a road song. And Bill said, yes, Willie, can you please write me a road song? And I'll come by in a couple days and pick it up. And this is what Willie wow. writes and gives to Bill is On the Road Again. And that's the beginning of On the Road Again, a song even our Texas State Bobcats know. One of, one of my uh, best friend's uh, father, this was his song, and at his funeral they played it. It was kind of funny that he played it, but it meant so much to him. And so yeah. many, for many Texans, this is like, you know, pure Texas, right? Absolutely. And, so, and Absolutely. Willie Nelson, pure, pure Texas. Oh and my so, gosh, yeah. Yeah. And here we have more of the Texas Monthly art and photography from its first 50 years. Yeah, it was really interesting because it really is like a photographic history of Texas as well because they uh, explain so many parts of Texas from stuff you know a lot about to, right. and people you know a lot about to people you don't know anything about, but the pictures and stories are another archive of what really is Texas. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Uh, this was actually the best tour I've had all day. <laughs> and so thank you for doing that. It's actually, it's interesting. It's so, there's so much stuff here that I, I see something new every time. And I learned a few new things here uh, as well. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for what you Quite do welcome. for bringing this to the public. Really appreciate that. It's our pleasure.
Bobcats, I hope you come check out this incredible place, the Whitliff Collections. It's not just Lonesome Dow, there's so much here to see. Uh, we're open quite often, just check the website for a time and date that we're open and come by to visit, get in the Elkeck Library, go up to the seventh floor and the whole place is here to see. You're all welcome here. Until next time, everyone, states up.